Hi everyone, my name's Mark Wormsley and I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network and I've, I've spent the last half an hour laughing more than I have, can remember. Um, I've been joined by Roger and Anna from the Bureau of Silly Ideas, B-O-S-I, I'm reliably informed. And, some, and, and honestly, it's, it's made my day. The, the thought that you could watch um, a mechanical horse and Don Quixote fighting with a radio controlled wheelie bin in the middle of the high street. It just fills me with delight. There's other things that Roger and Anna work on, which um, are equally funny, but we can't spoil the joke. Um, so I'll, I'll let Roger talk as much as we're able to about that. Roger, Anna, thank you for joining me. This is just this little welcome video for, for some of our other 19,000 LinkedIn group members now so that they can get a bit of a sense of what makes you tick and 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 what the bureau of silly ideas is so roger do you want to give us the the elevator pitch and and you can do a spoof one if you wish <laughs> <laughs> no it's um we we're an um, outdoor arts company that we're 20 we're our 20th year based in brixton south london we've toured all around the planet but mostly we focus on england and the uk as we're an Arts Council England National Portfolio Organisation. And we start with the smallest common denominator is radio controlled street furniture, which has been knocking around for a good while. So wheelie bins, plant pots, road cones, and the largest is a portaloo that all sing and dance and talk to people and have fun and are quite mischief mischievous. Uh, larger scale, we do super fictions where we fabricate multinational organizations and they do stuff that looks very real when you come across it but it's normally an incredulous task and can go on for literally years i believe you to find out those I love, yourselves I love that. that's super super fiction idea that sounds we, anna, anna can you um hello anna um i, I understand hey you're, the, you're the you're the serious person who makes all the silly stuff work would that be accurate I think the serious side of silly is a good description. <laughs> oh, so and I imagine that when you're doing a super fiction project, uh, um, creating a spoof multinational, there's, 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 a, there's a lot of work involved, right? Yeah. There must be. Setting there things is. up. And, yeah. A lot with the comms, especially the comms, and making sure that the partners all know how to behave all the way down the line. That can get quite complicated, because other, well, otherwise you soon find out that someone inadvertently has told the rest of the world that you know, they've talked about Father Christmas in front of children, which is, uh, if you don't get the context right, you can spoil it for a lot of people. I'm sure. Roger, just summarise briefly the Brighton project, because that sounded wonderful. Um, there was a construction site that was a couple of years overrun, and we went in with to explain why, and I started a company called Big Oriental Squid Inc., which we really registered at Company's House. And we explained that uh, the reason the um, construction site had gone overground, overrun was because there was a deep water cavern underneath it. And that was ideal breeding ground for giant squid. So as a company that was looking for an ideal site to start a farm for giant squid, we put into um, for planning permission to do that in the middle of Brighton. And the local authority who were commissioning us played along perfectly so we published all of that and then we had really good ties in with local media and identified the fact that actually you know this this way the story ran is the a, an actor on local radio announced that we were very pleased to be there and we were obviously hadn't got any giant squid but we hoped to lure some into a breeding pair into this cavern that we'd been tracking and in order to make that easier we know that giant squid are attracted to both the pheromones generated by mammals in a state of fear. So we put a call out on the radio for the good people of Brighton to bring us their pets where we could give them a little fright and start to collect the pheromones. Inevitably, that created protests and problems, which we were hoping to do. And when you saw the, the town square, there were people in hard hats, mini diggers, containers, the sounds of distressed animals. And the story carried on from there. I, you can, oh, if you go to our website, you can see a video. It's called Burst Pipe Dream. <laughs> it's called what, Burst? Burst Pipe Dream. Burst. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. 
So what's in what's on the cards at the moment? Without giving the game away, literally, what are you working on at the moment? We're working on the theme of water. It's, it's on a, a new one that's coming up. We've got one that's running at the moment, which um, we'll introduce to people as and when we need to. That's um, was extensively in Scotland last year, and we're looking at different partners. We've been in small scale around through the winter, and we're looking at how to grow that over the next couple of years and put an ask into. Arts Council to help support it on a grander tour, which is looking very promising, but I don't want to say much more than that. And I, I don't, don't <laughs> at the, at, at the about it. It's, oh, it's just lovely. And, and during the course of our conversation, there's clearly lots and lots of spoof oriented crossover in our various backgrounds because I've worked on similar um, spoof projects. It's fantastic. Lisbon, thank you so much for doing this quick hello. Wherever this appears, there'll be links dotted around. So, um, okay. The other thing that we should mention whilst we, we've got you is we're based in Brixton. We've got studios there that we make available for rehearsal. And it's one of the few dirty making spaces left in central London. And we encourage to people to come and make things and be dirty, <laughs> dirty oh, making. Perfect. So, we, we host a thing called Club Silly. And Club Silly is a, a public access point to join in with the immediate peer group we've created over the last few decades and to have a place where a safe place to try out new stuff and make things brilliant yeah. and where on where are we where do we go for the website silly ideas yeah if you go to the bureau of silly ideas you, we normally come up pretty quickly or if you type in yeah. silly ideas we come up quite hard and club silly is the the network for joining if you, it's a free to join members club where you get access to our resources excellent Brilliant. Thank you both very much. We'll post this so that everybody can enjoy it. And if you do get a chance to have a look at the website, some of the videos on there are wonderful, really wonderful. So Anna and Roger, thank you very much for being subscribers and thanks for doing this little chat. Welcome. Thanks, Shiva.